Nicole Forsgren, Accelerate, the science of lean software and DevOps, building and scaling high-performing technology organizations. Welcome to the summary of Accelerate, the science of lean software and DevOps, building and scaling high-performing technology organizations, where author Nicole Forsgren explores the importance of change management in an ever-evolving business landscape. Learn about the dual operating system that merges traditional hierarchical structures with an agile network, allowing companies to become more adaptive and efficient. Discover five core principles that help establish and maintain this system, along with eight accelerators designed to help your organization navigate change successfully. This captivating summary encourages leaders to break free from stagnant hierarchies and embrace a new approach to successfully manage change. Leading in an age of accelerating change. Harvard Business School professor emeritus John P. Cotter emphasizes the importance of leadership in a world of fast and intense changes. In his book, he explains how a stable hierarchy may not be able to handle change effectively, as it lacks the ability to recognize emerging opportunities and threats. He highlights that successful businesses often start with a fluid network structure, where the founder is at the core and everyone revolves around them, taking risks and seeking opportunities. As businesses grow, they shift to a more structured hierarchy. Cotter's work emphasizes that leadership is essential in navigating these changes. Dual Operating System Cotter suggests a new approach to change management by establishing a dual operating system, combining the benefits of both hierarchical structures and organic networks. The two systems should be separated but work as partners with the help of five core principles, different people drive change, people get to do jobs they relish, both your heart and your head must be at work, you need solid managers to execute change, and the network and hierarchy must function as partners. The network should not be just another department, but must work closely with the hierarchy for mutual benefit. Cotter provides examples of firms that have successfully implemented this dual system, encouraging readers to think outside the box when it comes to driving change and improving organizational structures. Accelerators for Network Plus Hierarchy Structure John Cotter provides eight accelerators to help create a functional Network Plus Hierarchy Structure. Urgency, a guiding coalition, a vision, strategic initiatives, volunteers, eliminating internal barriers, celebrating short-term wins, sustaining acceleration, and integrating and replicating wins in the hierarchy are all essential. Cotter emphasizes the differences and alignments between the two systems, highlighting the hierarchy's efficiency and the network's innovativeness. Creating a functional network plus hierarchy structure requires recognizing these differences, exploiting their synergies, unblocking barriers, and replicating. The network plus hierarchy structure offers vast opportunities for agility and innovation while enjoying the stability and reliability of a hierarchical organization. Changing business dynamics. The need for leaders and managers in time of change. Change is an inevitable constant, and businesses need to adapt to keep pace. In his book, Cotter emphasizes how change takes several forms within different environments with some posing an opportunity, while others are a threat. Disruptive technologies have continued to emerge and develop at an alarming rate, rendering previous best practices ineffective. The new norm is that a two-year product life cycle is preferable to the erstwhile 20-year. To adapt to the ever-changing business environment, people need to distinguish between leadership and management. Management is essential in hierarchical organizations to create plans, set budgets, organize companies, and offer tactics in job performance. In contrast, leaders focus mainly on the big picture and provide the vision needed to accomplish organizational goals. Leaders are disruptive and require considerable energies to execute their vision, and there must be multiple leaders across all levels of an organization to be effective. Cotter suggests that most large corporations begin as networks of engaged people connected to a vision that resonates with them. Still, over time, hierarchies emerge, and leaders are phased out of the organizational structures in favor of managers. Cotter, therefore, 
calls on businesses to unleash their creative energies and let it flow freely across the network to leverage multiple leaders' strengths. Embracing Change Cotter emphasizes that the greatest challenge to change is not organizational structures or policies, but people's resistance to it. Moving an organization forward requires a sense of urgency and relentless advocacy for change. Instead of fearing change, we should embrace it, see the opportunities it brings, and share our enthusiasm for it. Leadership for Change Cotter emphasizes the importance of change leaders facing tough questions and provides insights on managing complex networks. According to him, networks require qualitative appraisals as they can't be measured like companies. He suggests designating someone to facilitate smooth operations and maintain working relationships. Starting a network costs little as employees can give 5% of their time. Reflect on the present system to realize if it's time for a change. Accelerating Change Management John Cotter's book Accelerate presents an innovative strategy for companies to adapt and thrive in the face of accelerating change. He proposes a dual operating system that maintains a hierarchical structure while growing a second, organic network in symbiotic partnership with it. Cotter suggests gradually developing the new network and staffing it with people from the old one. The book's template emerges from his foundational concepts, including removing barriers to innovation, revitalizing companies, and seizing opportunities. The strategy of dual operating systems offers a striking idea for companies to discard rigid silos, established routines, and dependency on management. At the end of our journey through Accelerate, we see that the key to thriving in a rapidly changing business environment is adopting an innovative dual operating system. This system combines the strengths of traditional hierarchies and agile networks, leveraging both to navigate change and capitalize on new opportunities. Implementing the five core principles and utilizing the eight accelerators, leaders can successfully manage and adapt to change in their organizations. Furthermore, businesses should foster a sense of urgency to drive change and promote a culture of constant innovation. In a world where technology and change are constantly accelerating, embracing Cotter's strategies will equip your organization to overcome challenges and seize opportunities in the evolving marketplace.